I'm a children's librarian at the Long Beach Public Library at the Mark Twain branch. Usually I tell stories at the library, but this, but today I thought we would go ahead and tell a story in my very own home. So that being said, I thought we would go ahead and celebrate National Pet Week. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tell a story and I'm going to actually ask for some help from my very furry friend under this blanket. So let me go ahead and introduce you to my friend. So, but first I'm gonna go ahead and give you a couple hints on what kind of an animal he is. Show you. He has a very furry tail. He also has a big paw. Ooh. And he also has a very wet nose. <gasps> what could he be? A doggy. This dog's name is George. Say hi, George. And then everybody go ahead and say hi, George. <laughs> so today I thought we would go ahead and read, or more like tell, tell the story Bark George by Jules Pfeiffer, published by Harper Collins. Yay! And this story is being read and told with permission from Harper Collins. Thank you guys. All right, so the story goes George's mom told George to bark George, and George went meow. No, George, said George's mom. Cats go meow. Dogs go woof. So, bark, George. And George went quack. No, George. Ducks go quack. Dogs go woof. Now, bark, George. And George went oink, oink. No, George, said George's mom. Pigs go oink. Dogs go woof. So bark, George. And George went moo, moo. Oh no, George's mom was very, very worried. So she had to take him to the doggy doctor, the vet. And the vet said, okay, Bark for me, George. And George went, meow. Oh no. So the vet had to put on his gloves and he reached in and he pulled out a, what did he pull out? Is that a cat? That must have been why he was meowing. Oh my goodness. All right, so the vet said, Bark, George, and George went quack, quack. Uh-oh, okay, so the vet had to put on his gloves and he reached in and he pulled out. <gasps> what did he pull out? Is that a ducky? That must have been why he was quacking. Oh my gosh. All right, so. Now the vet said, bark for me, George. And George went, oink, oink. <sighs> okay, so the vet put on his gloves and he went in and he pulled out a, <gasps> what did he pull out? Is that a pig? Oh my goodness, that must have been why he was oinking. All right, now. The vet said, bark for me, George. And George went, moo. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay. So the vet had to put on his long gloves. And he reached in. And he pulled out a... What did he pull out? Oh! He pulled out a cow. Oh, my goodness. Was that why he was mooing? Oh boy, all right, so the vet said, okay, now go ahead and bark for me, George. And George went, woof, 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 woof. 
Yay! Oh my goodness. Thank goodness. So George's mom was so happy. She gave the kitty doggy licks. She gave the duck doggy licks. She gave the pig doggy licks. She gave the cow doggy licks. She even gave the vet doggy licks. She was so happy that George was all better. He was able to bark. And they were walking down the street. They saw all these people and George's mom wanted to go ahead and show George off to everybody. So she told George, bark George. And George went, hello. <gasps> what do you think happened? <gasps> Uh-oh. Well, unfortunately, that is the end of the story. So we'll never know what really, really happened. <gasps> but we do know George can talk just like people. All righty. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that story. I love that story. That's one of my favorites. And it's one of George's favorites as well. So now it's time to say goodnight to George. He needs his doggy nap. So let's go and say goodbye, George. And we're also going to say goodbye, kitty. And goodbye, ducky. And goodbye, piggy. Oh, goodbye. And goodbye, cow. All right. They are all going to take their nap now. Okay. Good night. Very good. I thought I would go ahead and tell you and share with you my pet. So I'll give you a couple of hints also on what kind of an animal he is as well. So he has large spikes on his arms and his feet. He also loves to eat grass and lettuce and he has a very hard shell on his back. Well, he just yawned right now. So. <laughs> All right. Can you guess what he is? If you guessed a tortoise, you're right. And there he is. This is Koopa. His name is Koopa. He is an African sulcata tortoise. Ooh. He's normally outside under the sun roaming around and eating grass. But today I thought I would go ahead and make this a special day and share with you all my pet tortoise. Yay! Ooh. Yay, very good. So as you can see, he has spikes on his arms and on his feet. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And he has a very hard shell on his back. Mm -hmm. All right. He's not very comfortable being lifted up and shown off on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back in his little bin. All righty. <laughs> very cool. Okay. Well, I hope you all had a great time uh, listening to the story and meeting Koopa. So, um, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope everybody is safe and healthy at home. And if you would like, you can always follow us on Facebook, um, and Instagram, and YouTube, and uh, Twitter as well. Uh, if you want to find more information uh, or more storytime videos, you can always visit our website at longbeach.gov slash library. All right, I'll see you all next time. Bye.